Hello everyone, welcome back to another part of Scar and the Superchargers for the Wii U. I'm Sparrow557, and in this part, we're going to be doing the Dark Vehicle Zone with Nightfall and Seashell. So, here we go. Rescue the scuba sheep. Avoid the eel's sonar. Finish quickly to earn stars. Uh, okay, so. Three, two, yeah. One. I remember this one being pretty easy as well, just like fast part, so, um, yeah, it should be pretty good, but, um, watch me, watch me say that, I mean, I, mean, I actually struggle with this. But yeah, so you just have to avoid this fish. Okay, I guess I'll try and do this normally, and then, you know, afterwards we'll explore it, explore its place. So, yeah, I've got to wait until... He reaches out into the rocks or the bars. So, yeah. Oh, it, it's seriously annoying that the music is completely glitched still on this Wii U version. And, um, yeah, it, it, this music is not meant to play here. It's it switched the Academy music with the, um, the music that's actually meant to play here, and then that plays when we go back to the academy. So I I just don't know why that's the case on the Wii U version because it I swear it doesn't happen on, doesn't happen on any other version of this game. Okay, well there's health there, but okay, sheep two sheep near each other. Um, that's pretty cool. I saw another area, um, somewhere else. Oh, he got us, but, well, that wasn't, that wasn't too bad, actually. Um, um okay, oh, I saw another one. It's, it's actually hard to control us. Okay, that's, that's actually not doing that much damage. Oh, this, that was a, okay, I, I don't think, did well, but I wasn't really trying that. I was just, uh, I was kind of messing about that bit. So, uh, okay. Oh, what? We did it in the first attempt. What? They give you way too much time for that. What? I thought that was just terrible, but we had plenty of time. Are you kidding? Okay, well, I was definitely right about, right about remembering this was easy. And it was above and beyond easy, because, well, I was I was hardly doing anything. I didn't use any traps once again. So so you know this one is is way more easy than the tech one than now. And I thought that was the easiest the, the, the easiest one in the last part, but this definitely overtakes that. And the stack one. Because, yeah, I, you really, you just have to collect the sheep, that's all I have to do. And so, wait, the, the thing is, do they give you more than five to actually collect? Oh, and you know what this reminds me of? This, because, you know, it's Vicarious Visions, and this looks almost exactly like the Crash Bandicoot 3 water levels, or under water levels. Wait, yeah, this one here. We didn't get this one before, did we? Wait, so it, it seems that they give you more sheep than you actually need. But yeah, this is this is almost. It, oh, it so reminds me of uh, of uh, Crash Bandicoot Three because you know we did the same trilogy. And oh, it's so funny back in back in 2015. We had no idea that they would be doing Insane Trilogy next. And now here we are in 2018 and well, what's happening now? And actually since the last time I recorded this game uh, a few weeks ago, um, Sparrow Reignited Trilogy has been announced and Toys for Bob are making it. Um, uh, see about that? That's something that's happened uh, in the last two weeks. Wow, it's already been about two weeks since that happened. 
Okay, well, we can quite, we can collect more gibbets if we want, but there's really not much point. Um, uh, so is there anywhere else to explore? Um, oh no, that's the last one. Oh, I need to explore a bit more of that. Um, because there might have been parts up above that I didn't go to before, and I wanted to see if there was more sheep than you could actually collect. Um, okay, well actually, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, what I'll do here is just quickly speed it up. And see, see if there is anything else to find here, so let's do that now. Okay, that, that's weird. Wait, hold on. Wait, no, you can't go that way. Can I leave that sheep? Okay, so yeah, you, you um, meet the giant fish to that. Wait, is that helping me go up? They definitely give you more sheep than you eat. Oh, I don't remember this, but okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's way more here. Some more places to go. What's all this? What on earth? Okay, that's that. That's all here. Are you kidding? I don't think I ever went here before. Wait, so it's one more right? Can you go up here? Oh. Wait, is this where I was before? Wait, what is this? No. Wait, it is. Oh. I'm so, I'm so confused. Wow. Didn't go in here before. Oh, didn't go in here. Oh, that's that's all. Is this the star? Give me this. Okay, yeah, I walked everywhere, and yeah, I think that was everything, and I uh, can't believe that just took me 10 minutes to walk around, but you know, I wanted to explore, so you was on that wall, 6, 6.30, um, but yeah, I think I searched everywhere, and 
there were some secret places that I didn't find in the first run, so... I guess, so that's, that's it for this part, so... Let's switch to the next, um... Elemental... Game? Oh yeah, wow. Oh, I didn't get the orbs last, um, last time, but no one really needs them, but... Um, uh, so yeah, I'll switch to the next one, and then we'll do that uh, in the next part. Okay, so we're back, and yeah, we're going to be doing the air uh, elemental gate, so in the next part. So I really hope you enjoyed this part, doing the dark vehicle zone, and yeah, it was pretty good, it's pretty fun, so um, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do the air one in the next part, so see you then. Goodbye for now.